Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yao Yi, and today we're gonna unbox this new graphic tablet from XP Pen. I'm so happy to receive this and thank you XP Pen for sending me this new product, the Deco Fun L Size 2 Review. On the front cover, it looks different from previous Deco, and I like this illustration on it. Feels like, yeah, I'm gonna brush up my drawing skills with this tablet. At the back you can see, it comes with four color variants, red, blue, light green and black and it is suitable for online learning, teaching, work, preparing notes during meeting and etc. Play games, also maybe, and also, of course, CGR, digital sculpting, drawing, 3D, and so on. Then, let's look at the specs. It has a 10x6.27 inch active area, supports 60 degree tilt function, and it has an 8K pressure sensitivity level, and a 5K resolution that measure in LPI lines per inch, and about 220 response rate per second, with a 10mm reading height, and it supports Mac, Windows, and Android. Let's open it up and see what we have inside the box. Well, hello buddy, you again, nice to see you. The tablet comes with a nice protective plastic cover. And let's tear it open. And there are two more layers of sticker that helps protect the surface before you start using it. And it says you should tear the film off be before you can use it. At the back, it has a nice matte texture surface. Okay, let's put aside first. Next, let's see what we have inside this pack here. Thank you cut from XP Pen. Thanks! And there's a small quick guidebook that comes with many different languages and policy warranty leaflet. And what else do we have? Of course, the pen! Looks more cute! and rounder in design compared to my Deco 01 V2 pen. And there are two, yes, and the only two customizable shortcut buttons for the set. And then here's a pack of extra nibs inside for you to replace when your nibs worn out. And there are 10 in total. And here's the ring remover. Let's try to see if it's easy to remove the nibs. See? Simple and quick. Just clip and pull, and there you go. And next, here's the USB Type C to USB Type A cable that allows you to connect your tablet to your PC. And let's check inside the box and this if there's anything else. Alright. It's empty. Because last time I came across a product they slip something inside, which I didn't know until my daughter played with it. And I found out there are second pack of nibs inside. <laughs> How lucky I am. And Here's all the stuff that comes with the product. Next, let's go with the product testing and review. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot one of the most fun part of unboxing the product. Tearing the stickers off. I love that sound. <laughs> I love the black glossy reflective surface at the top. 
it gives a classy look. And forgot to mention, at the back here, there are four tiny rubber table grip at four corners of the tablet so that it can hold its position firm on the table while you're drawing or writing. Plug and play. So before you can install and use, plug in the USB type A8 to your PC. And then plug in the USB type C cable to your tablet. Software installation. You can go to Google and search XP Pen driver. Then click the download button there. Then it will go straight to the page that allows you to choose which tablet driver you wish to download. Then we choose the deco fun. Then right here there are Mac, Windows and other OS like Ubuntu, Linux and etc. So I will be choosing Windows. Click download and wait. And after it's done, unrar or unzip it to a folder and double click to start its installation. After the installation is done, you need to restart the PC for it to complete the installation. And one thing to take note on, remember to uninstall all the tablet driver other brands okay, or any other previous driver before installing this so that it won't get mixed up and causing driver unstable issues. Next, drawing sound test. So this is a task that I will always do for my viewer because some people will concern about the noise that it produces when you draw on the surface and whether it feels too loud or annoying. So here's the sound it produces. Personally, I think it is within the acceptable range, not too loud till it becomes annoying. So it is, it is good. Next, software calibration. So go to search bar and type pen tablet. Then it will open up this user interface. You can see it right here. Now it is mapped to both of my screen and I can choose which screen to map to. Then chooses the monitor I wish to map to. And you can also select a specific area on a screen to map to, which is cool. So I will choose monitor one then here, you can set rotate the tablet if you are a left-handed user. Choose the correct option and then physically rotate the tablet as well. Then you can use it. Next, choose pen settings. There are two customizable buttons you can customize different shortcut keys right here. And there are a bunch of options you can try it out. Mouse clicks, eraser, precision mode, and even run certain applications. And you can try to click around and test the pressure level that shows at the bottom left of the screen in the blue bar. And you can adjust the sensitivity curve as well. And up here, you can preset those functions for certain software, say Photoshop, Krita, Clip Studio, and etc. And after you have done with the setup, click OK to close the window. Oh wait, there's one more thing here. I forgot to show you. Top right here, Click the gear button for the settings. You can choose to disable express key, pressure, save configuration, and import next time. And there is a diagnostic tool as well. Next, we're gonna test it in Clip Studio Paint. So I try to draw a curved line with multiple curves and very pressure level while drawing. It works great and smooth. The spiral lines working great. This spiral line is good to test if there are any software compatibility issues or problems as last time one of my other tablets that it gives me an H at the same location while I drew. So it creates a problem like it is not round anymore. So next I'm gonna try with diagonal lines, horizontal lines and straight lines to see if there's a hook or cross lines at the end of those lines. And hook or cross means it couldn't catch up with the speed when you draw. 
It seems good to me. Small hook on the straight line is my own problem. <laughs> I know when I draw, I didn't lift it up completely. And let's try it with even faster speed. It works fine. No latency problems. Next, let's test with writing words. When you write, don't write too fast, as it will miss some of the tiny details on strokes like maybe 5, 5 to 10 percent. Next, we test with dot and see if it will miss. Sometimes I would accidentally click on the two buttons on the pen, then it changes to an eraser or middle click. If this bothers you as well, you can turn off the function from the software settings. Remember the ones I showed you just now? So it works great without much problems and it's quite accurate. Next, let's draw something, shall we? It feels good, man. Next, let's test it in Photoshop. The pressure right here feels slightly different compared to Clip Studio, but you can customize the curve for a different software to suit your likeness. Not a big problem. And next, we draw diagonal lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines. And it all worked out quite well. And now, when we test dots, it has some missed ones. It is a common Photoshop lag issues. Drawing in speed does not have problems, no latency issues. Just when it comes to dots, there's a bit of lag here. The rest are all good. Next, we are testing if the tilt function works. This is inside Photoshop, and I choose a different brush this time. And you can see the small thumbnail of the brush up there. When I tilt it, the pan angle, the brush follows, and it varies the stroke outcome with different pressure level. And I think it works great. Next, we test it in ZBrush. I'm adding some veins onto the head of these warrior. And I also add a cut to the left eye and to add some damage to him so he look more tough. Tough guy.
And after that, I test with these head. I'm trying to turn him into an old man with some aging signs and look a bit evil. Strokes, the pressure, sensitivity level, and the drawing experience in ZBrush works great with Deco Fun. Next, we're gonna test it in Microsoft OneNote. So this is a software that is ideal for students to take notes, teacher to write or draw while teaching. Good for normal use as note taking, draft diagram, draw design model with pinpoint and etc. As you can see, writing in one note is great. Simple drawings like I did for a design model, it's easy and convenient. You can even use a different color pen to write on which makes your drawing looks more interesting. So, is this tablet worth buying? It comes with a slick design. It is quite affordable at the price of 49.9. And there's a 10% off since it is a new product. It has all the great features like 8K pressure level, 5K resolution of LPI, and fast over 220 response rates per second. Not only that, it has a tilt function and it supports Windows, Mac, and Android. If you just need a simple, nice, and easy to use tablet, and that is portable for schools, teaching, note-taking, and even drawing for artists. I think this is a good choice, and it's, it's a product you should consider. So let me know what you think about this tablet, whether it is suitable for you. Let me know down here under the comment section below. If you like my videos and hope to see more videos like this in the future, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And also turn on the bell notification button so you won't miss any upcoming contents. Thanks, and until then, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.